Mark, we've seen the news about uh, the government letting fans back into stadiums hopefully soon. What's your views on that? Well, we were all set to go um, in October, but unfortunately there was a spike in COVID cases nationally and the government said that they were going to review the policy of whether they were going to allow fans back into stadiums in the, in the coming weeks. So from what I understand and what we've been advised, that decision is going to be taken in the next couple of days. They're reviewing all the latest evidence. Obviously, the health and safety well-being of, of fans and, and people more generally in society is, is our main concern. But given the fact that you know people can go into bars, restaurants, or admittedly in, in groups of six now, that we feel the time is right to allow fans back safely and, and in certain sections and observing social distance because throughout really the whole epidemic and the pandemic it's been a case of balancing health and safety and 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 the economy and, and avoiding a collapse in the economy which could have arguably even wider consequences so i think that we are at that stage now with football as an economy that clubs that i'm speaking to if fans are not allowed back in numbers in october there could be a general meltdown of clubs and, and football as a whole um, and, and clubs could be gone forever. It, it's, it really is that serious at the moment. So for the greater good of football, and I say again, with health and safety and, and in a safe and um, a respectful manner allowing fans back in, but now really is the time that we have to allow fans back in because clubs for the first six months have been shielded by a furlough some government support in regards of rates relief, the putting off of um, payment of PAYE and all the advance payments that clubs have had from the Premier League and, and the EFL for this coming season that really has already now been used for the whole season. If we don't have fans coming back into stadiums, and when I say we, I mean football as a whole, I don't know how many, many football clubs are going to carry on being able to to pay their employees and their obligations so it has unfortunately got to the point where this is a big decision and hopefully the government will support football and allow fans back. I'm heartened to see that there's some test events being run this week, hopefully there'll be some test events run again next week so it feels like that's back on schedule but the widely talked about 20 to 35 percent reduced capacity um, from October, we are hoping that the government um, don't pull that and still allow that to happen. How likely is it? I mean, you see, you're the CEO of the football club. Um, from talking from a behind the scenes point of view, football clubs are still running, they're still there, but it's very close and it's very serious. It's very close, it's very serious, and I speak to chief execs in all four divisions and owners in all four divisions every day, and if I can't say this strong enough yet, unless there is either a bailout, fans allowed back into stadiums or some extension of the furlough scheme, then you are, it's going to become a regular event over the coming weeks and months of clubs going into administration.